Sorry, Sarah dragged me to the thrift store today. We're gonna go see if we can find some Christmas treasures. It is my favorite time of year to thrift because Christmas items are gold. So I'm gonna show you some of my strategies for finding Christmas items to flip for a profit online. Let's go see what we can find. <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful treasure. Look how scary he is. He's got blue eyeshadow. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> so I don't think this one's anything special, but I have had really good luck with nativity sets selling on eBay for really good money. But you have to look up the make and the year and that kind of thing. So if it says made in China, it's usually no good? I mean, yeah. Okay, got it. Usually a pretty good sign, but. Not always, but it's cute. So this is how I figure out what items are worth, is I'll find something like this that I know nothing about, and I'll take a picture of it on Google here. Just like this. And let's see. So you can sell, see someone selling them for $22. They're asking four for it, but it's in really bad shape. So $22 plus shipping. So this would be an okay one if it was in like perfect shape, but it's not. I think I found my first score. It's 30 bucks. It's sold on eBay for 80 bucks. Let's see what Sarah says. Yeah, I recognize the brand from that uh, other Christmas house. It's 30 oh but sold for 80 like yesterday. Really? On eBay, yep. What do you think? It's a cool one. We gotta make sure it's not like chipped or anything. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <gasps> it's like All right, I didn't mean to toot my own horn here, but for a novice thrifter, I think I did pretty good. This was $29.99. I got it for half off because blue tags are half off, so 15 bucks. And two of these sold on eBay in the past three days for $80 plus shipping. So there's definitely like a $50 to $60 profit yeah. right there. Boom, one item. And I recognize this brand. Um, that's how I knew uh, it was from last year when we went Christmas shopping. There was a Lemax yep. strange, it was called like Reptile House or something. Sarah bought it and made like an $80 profit on that. So I knew that was a good, brand, a good brand. And I remembered. So even though I'm not very knowledgeable, I got some knowledge. You did good. I got some knowledge. Yep. Knowledge I have been learning more about vintage glass Christmas ornaments. So I decided to try out a couple. There was more in there, but I really don't know much about them. So I bought a couple to kind of research them and see what I can get for them, but I feel pretty good about it because look how pretty they are. Each of these were uh, $3 a piece, um, and from what I can see from comps, they're worth between like 25 and 30 plus shipping. Um, we'll see if that rings true, but time of year. So um, we're gonna get these listed right away and see what we can do. Yeah, I think today is the 21st so of November. Of November. So definitely perfect time to list this kind of stuff on eBay. So that just goes to show you in two quick little stops here, we found some really good items. Um, nothing was really a unicorn piece. We just had to spend some time looking things up um, and we found them. So this isn't something that we spent hours and hours doing. We're on our way to lunch and we just stopped in a couple stores. So before we get any further into the video, we wanted to thank today's video sponsor, Lidocam. If you've watched our channel at all before, you know that we love Lidocam products. Uh, this particular one, this is called the P1, is really cool because it has a special 360 degree pan motion. You can just swipe with your phone. Uh, and it will turn 360 degrees around and also a tilt up and down. So it also has motion detection. So whenever there's a person or motion detected in the room, it sends a notification to my phone. I can pull it up right away and see what's going on. So what's cool about this is not only does it have motion detection, but it will actually track the motion of the object moving. Uh, this is great for security while we're gone, or also if you wanna just check in on our pets or kids and see what they're up to, uh, these cameras are absolutely fantastic. This thing is great because it works with Alexa, it has 2K vision, and at nighttime I can see the picture really, really clearly. Setup for the LidoCam P1 is super easy. All you have to do is uh, pull a QR code up on your phone uh, and point it at the camera and it automatically will hook up to your Wi-Fi. 
takes about one minute to dissolve. It also has a slot for external storage if you want to put a micro SD card in there and record uh, all of what's going on. So you don't need any fancy subscription services or anything like that. Uh, these things are just really awesome. They're also very discreet. You can hide them, you know, up on top of your fridge or cabinets and catch all of those sneaky moments that are happening uh, around your house. Uh, the video signal is also encrypted, so you have a sense of security um, while having cameras in your home. Lidocam has some truly amazing Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals going on right now. Uh, so you're going to want to click the link below in our description and go check out all those deals. Uh, but let's get back into the video. All right, here's some of those snow buddies, which used to be super collectible, but now they're kind of everywhere, so not very valuable. But then I did spot this Jim Shore piece back here, which is so detailed and pretty, and I totally regret not picking up. This retails for about 100 on Amazon. Uh, comps were kind of all over the place, so I wasn't confident at the time, but now I totally regret not getting it. All right, so next I went to a more mom and pop thrift store, which they had some really fun items. Here's this Avon uh, Christmas scene wasn't worth much, but pretty cool. Um, but next I spotted these Thomas Kincaid uh, cookie jars or flower jars. They had them for listed for about 15 a piece. So they kind of knew what they had. They retail for maybe 30 a piece. Um, so not a huge margin there, but still pretty cool. This guy was awesome. Uh, but they had him marked up for $75, which he has been sold recently on eBay for around $120. Not a terrible buy, but pretty high buy-in at that rate. So let me tell you why I love reselling this time of year is because of all the Christmas stuff. This stuff is incredibly valuable and there's so much out there everywhere you look. So the other day I was at Goodwill just kind of hanging out. Um, and I stumbled upon this and I could tell it was super quality. You can just see a lot of the detail in it. I don't know anything about it, but one thing I did notice right away is that there was like a signature on it. And I was like, that seems pretty special. So I looked it up and comps were for around like $500 for this guy. But this item specifically, I could tell was really special because of all the detail of it. All these sweet little teddy bears, the hand carved face, you could just tell it was quality. So that's when I knew to look it up. Not that I actually knew anything about this artist or about this specific item. I just decided to look it up because I could tell it was really special. It was marked for $4.99. I had a coupon, so I got it for like around $3. Um, and so I was super excited about this. I got it home, I kind of dusted it up. I took a bunch of pictures of it, listed it on eBay for $3.50 um, because Christmas is in a few weeks, so I kind of didn't want to have to hang on to it for a whole year um, till next Christmas. I wanted to get rid of it. Um, and within a couple hours, I got an offer for $2.50 and I accepted because I was happy with that amount because I paid $3 for this guy. So. It is a very unique piece. Right now there are just a lot of Christmas goodies out there that have quite a bit of resale value. So I would definitely highly recommend getting out there and checking, seeing what's out there. Um, even like I'm finding a lot of stuff in the $50 profit range, maybe not quite as like high end as this one, but it's very easy to find items for a few dollars that on eBay are selling right now for like 50 because of time of year. So definitely take advantage of that with reselling right now and get to your local thrift shop. Here's another example of something I'm shipping out is just this nice 100% um, wool coat. I bought this actually at the end of season last year and I did have to hang on to it. I think I paid $6 for it. Um, but it just sold for 87 plus shipping. And the best part is, is that this really didn't take me that long. I'm gonna go ahead and quick package these up on the way to get my daughter from school and make a couple hundred bucks just for listing these. So um, pretty easy side hustle gig, one of my favorites. Um, highly recommend to get on out there and look for some good winter items. I just cannot recommend Christmas thrifting enough. It's like my favorite time of year. Don't miss out on it and get out there and thrift. Hi, thank you. So if you are out on the hunt for Christmas flips this year, um, just make sure you're using your Google app to take a picture of the item. Uh, pulling it up on eBay and then we always filter by sold comps to make sure we know what they're selling for, not just what they're listed for. Um, and if you just do a little bit of research, you can find deals at every single thrift store. It's not just, these weren't unicorns we found today. For sure. We had a ton of fun looking for things for, to show you guys today. We hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time. Happy Thanksgiving.